the use of a combination of cells, engineering, and materials methods to replace or regenerate biological tissues, organs, and their function. It brings together ideas from medicine and engineering to make functional tissue mimics. There are a lot of things that a researcher must think about when engineering different tissues, one of them being what cells need to survive. It is very important that cells have access to oxygen and nutrients when implanted in newly formed tissues. Tissues must therefore be well vascularized. This means that they need to have blood vessels to carry oxygen and nutrients throughout the tissue and to the cells. Blood vessels are like the roads and highways of the tissue. This is particularly important in cellular transplants, which is a part of the research we do in our lab at the University of Toronto. We focus on delivering cells for the treatment of type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a disease where the body cannot produce insulin and therefore cannot reduce high blood glucose levels. Blood glucose increases whenever we eat. One way of managing diabetes is to regularly monitor your sugar levels and then give insulin injections. An alternative to this treatment method, however, is to deliver pancreatic islets. Islet transplantation takes the pancreatic islets from a healthy donor and implants them into a patient with type 1 diabetes. If we remember though, it is very important for cells to get oxygen and nutrients and to also be able to release insulin into the body. On the right is a diagram of a blood vessel. It is providing oxygen and nutrients to the pancreatic islets in the middle of the picture. You can see that they are happy because they were taken from a healthy donor. They will be transplanted into a type 1 diabetic patient where they will release insulin into the bloodstream. This means that we need to transplant the islets in a vascularized tissue. We do this through the use of modules. Modules are small collagen structures coated in cells that will help to form blood vessels in the body. They start off in a long tube of collagen, but we cut them so that they are small and so that the oxygen can get from the blood vessels that are made to the islets inside as quickly as possible. This helps the islets survive when they are transplanted. They can then release insulin in response to changes in blood glucose, treating type 1 diabetes.